All right, guys, we are at Walmart in the parking lot of Walmart, and it's raining more. So, Go uh, into the clear inspection. I can't remember if this one's marked or not. I don't think this one's ever marked. I don't remember. I might not even know where this one is. Interesting. It's around here somewhere. We're gonna find it. Then we find it. We're gonna film it. Alright? All right, guys, we got uh, some ink, laser ink, uh, HP. I believe this was $44. It's going for like $116, $120. So that's like a $40 profit or something. Uh, and then uh, an old. Uh, an old Power A controller, fifteen dollars. Uh, this, uh, yes, yeah, the XP Five X Plus. Uh, I think it's going for like forty nine ninety nine or something. So it's like a twenty six dollar profit. And uh, that's all we got at this Walmart. Okay, off to the next one. It's dark. Ooh. This thing's got a wicked pull to the right. What's up guys we are at another walmart surprise surprise we are in the parking lot and we are going to go in and get clearance deals that's what we're here for that's what we're going to get that's what we're going to show you and that's what we're doing all right so uh hopefully you've subscribed hopefully you have liked shared and subscribed uh, hit the notification so you get notified of all the, the videos and shorts. We've been putting up a bunch of shorts. So if you like this stuff, please comment. Appreciate you. We're going to go in and see what we can get. All right. Bye. Changing mug, Batman. Music's not too loud. I 
Didn't think it was going to come up. Fashion fidgets. I've never seen these before, ever. I forgot I was supposed to be filming this. So, uh, yeah, we got some, uh, I don't know, beauty uh, items. Um, as you can see, I walk out into Lawn and Garden, and they have got just racks of these um, shelves full of clearance items. Uh, they're not quite the prices they need to be. So once you find that, you just kind of stop scanning until you actually find something uh, that's worth it. And then go ahead and you know, scan it to double check. Maybe it might be cheaper. This is 950. It is 950. See, that's why you just don't, you know, you wouldn't scan every Walmart item, you know, with a Walmart app. Ten dollars again. These for like a buck, two bucks. The date on it is 804. It's Squishville, so we're gonna go ahead and look at that one. If it's 10 bucks, we're absolutely not getting it. Nope. That ain't. Nah. Four five bucks. Six bucks. These are five dollars are probably good. Usually three, four bucks. Because these little live pets, you know, stupid, usually sell for 20 bucks. They have 26, 31. See that? Because they're like oddities, they have so many different kinds. Amazon's app is being crazy today. It's just doing this every time. So you can't go through and see. You can view the offers, but you cannot go through and see the fees. But I know these sell. Tap on that. No, it's craziness. We're gonna take both of these. There's so many variations. You also want to make sure that they're the same, especially if you're getting two of them, because one of them might not be profitable. But on almost every single one of those, I know that they're good. And why are they good? I don't know. They like are waterproof. You like put them in a bag. Waterproof. Some of them are like glow in the dark. They're adorable for little girls. So, uh, if you have kids, you know. I have a couple things here. What is this? What do you want? Ices are little. Little, man. Oh yeah, it won't go through. It's gonna make this sourcing trip real fun. We got three bucks on these Batman. Oh no, those are eight bucks. Eight bucks on the Batman. Or I mean, eight bucks on the uh, Flash. Three bucks on the Batman. Flash isn't better than Batman, dude. What are you talking about. Batman, it's Batman. We're going to assume that the price is the price. You offer. I 
Amazon's on it for nine bucks. Even at three bucks, you're not gonna make anything if Amazon's on it. Fifteen dollars is too much for these. Assume that this is the correct price. I don't know if this even got this. It's just going to show a bunch of covers. Let's see if we can get the picture. Doubt it. To get a picture. Contexico, yes, it's right, kids. Sixteen gig. It is sixteen gig. Two gigs of RAM, sixteen gig storage. That is right. Sales record PC is terrible. Supposed to be sixty-two ninety-nine is the preferred amount. Yeah, that person's trying to make another listing that's much more expensive. Thirty bucks. It's probably. 15 in fees, maybe 45, it's probably not worth getting. This thing's missing a head. Still selling it for 10 bucks. It's missing his entire head. Care Bears for nine bucks. Ice cream makers for 30. Past Lego down here. Let's see, if this is 10, which is what I've got them for before. We'll take them. I've got a couple more down there. So we take out Scan and Go and we scan it with Scan and Go. Forty bucks, no go. They say they have other colors of these wristbands, but I haven't only really seen the red. I don't know if anybody else has seen the different colors. I think there's color specific ones. Superboy Prime. Too expensive. These are three bucks. Half mile if you got kids. These things were going for crazy prices. It is eleven. Scan of this. Seller, but I don't know the fees. You know? Because it will not load. And the music is going to get me a copyright. 
So we're going to keep talking the entire time. I don't think I can do it for 11 bucks. I just don't think I can do it for 11 bucks. I think it's not going to be worth it. These are now Q4, man. Q4. You really need to start getting stuff. What's this? 15. It says 4. That's why we're going to check this one. No other reason. I don't know. Neil Patrick Harris. Cheaper, possibly. No, it's not cheap. Right, we're just gonna assume everything is what it is, right? It goes at 22. I was getting these for 10. It does say 801, though. They keep doing this to me. I mean, you know, we're talking. talking two weeks past so I think it went down two bucks it's two bucks cheaper it's 20 and not 22 so two dollars cheaper not really worth it these ones are 70 Expensive, too expensive, too expensive, too expensive. These will go much lower than the $59. Uh, once the summer is over, even that at $9 is too much. <laughs> I mean, perfect for a consumer, right? It's great for a consumer. You know, come, shop, get some deals, it's great. I mean, it's fucking awesome. Look at these. This $81. Look at that. It's like four grown adults in that thing. Plus a little, you know, secondary thing here. So, I mean, yeah, they are great. This music is loud or talking is loud. And I'm just going to kind of skim through this stuff quickly. Is there anything jumps? off the shelf into our cart. I doubt it. But, uh, I'll check this real quick. VTEC. Good money. Yeah, I can't 
this that we saw. Clearance aisle. Nada. Alright, so we've got oh, a couple of uh, beauty things and a couple of those. Those, uh, I don't even know what they are, little pets. Little pets, I believe, is what they are. And those things. Uh, good profit. These other uh, beauty care girl type things. Uh, $6.26, I believe, is what the price is. They're going for $29.96. So uh, I think we'll make $10. You know, easy. Easy $10 profit. So uh, it's all of a sudden become very busy in Walmart. So uh, we're going to go to regular aisles now. And then we'll see what we see. All right. So in this uh, in this Walmart, they've got their electronics clearance locked up. Ten dollar Power Rangers locked up, dude. Eight ninety three. Lock it up. Six ninety six. Let's lock it up. Some on. Let's lock it up, man. or not I bet you it's not worth it though I'll tell you that some of these brother inks go down we might be able to get those I see that uh, coarser mouse back there 29 look at it, 513 though I wonder if it's cheaper right, we're gonna get some help here all right I'm gonna get some help and I'm gonna get this case open because I wanna scan those. And if that was like 19 bucks, guarantee that's a winner. So, uh, profitable, you know what I mean? So, uh, we're gonna get some help and we're gonna see about these big ones. These big ones are 49 bucks. Just chilling. So, it's a big ass one. See these? 6,000 pieces. All right, we're going to get some help, see if we can get this case open. All right, bye. We'll show you. All right, so nothing in the clearance case was cheap enough. Um, we looked at these Walbright wall arts. Uh, 49 bucks. I don't know if I showed these in a different video or anything before. we a real issue here with the app. Uh... 90, 49, I can't see the fees. 49 bucks, we might be able to make 20 bucks off of this. Maybe. Uh, I just don't know. But these aren't flying off the shelves here, for sure. So we're gonna leave them even though they are the big sets. And we're gonna come back in about a week or so and see if they're a little cheaper. See, they've got, uh, I don't know if you can see it, there it goes. 814 on the item. And, uh, and then about another week or so, they'll probably go on. Let me drop down at least one more. Um, meet birthday. The story of how birthdays come to be. It's also my birthday. Sourcing on my birthday. Working on my birthday. Go to baby and see what's up. Probably nothing in baby, but you never know. Oh, dude. These baby breezes. That was last year. These, these instant warmers and these uh, Formula Pros. You see the price on them right now. But I think I was getting these for 40 bucks. At least that, that uh, Formula Pro one, 40 bucks, 30 bucks, 29 bucks, I believe also. I mean, I was going to every every store cleaning those up. Um, 
and I'm sure oh, we're taking them from people that really need them. They go for like two twenty nine. I mean, come on, right? Taking them from people that really need them. You don't need a formula warmer. All right? These are luxury items. Quit fucking acting like you know taking food out of these kids' mouths or something. That's not how that works, dude. These are luxuries. All this shit's luxury. You didn't have these when you were a kid or when you, you're, you know, when your parents were kids. None of this shit existed. And you all survived, right? Magically. Some of you tragically survived. So, this horse shit. Taking it from people that need it. Bullshit. It's a myth. They can get you to stay poor and broke. I scanned this last time I was in here also. I don't think it came up. Oh, it did come up. Can we sell it? Pretty sure we can. Well, I can't say pretty sure. Motorola Nursery. I have no idea. We can't make any money off of that price, though. So hopefully it's cheaper. And of course, the serial number. This fucking shit. 59 4 Nope. Let's get a bunch of these for a buck. All these for a buck. I mean, yeah, like some of this stuff. Some of this stuff is not necessary, okay? You know. Got plenty of kids, and uh, this is not is not, uh, you know, these items are not necessary to have to raise children. Ninety sixty one. Hmm. Let's hope this is cheaper. Gotten these in the past. Not ninety four dollars. That's uh, no. Yeah, gotten these items in the past. Ten bucks. Nothing in baby either. We are going to roll out with this. This thing's got a wicked pull to the right. I'm going into Meyer. See if we can't find some routers or something, right? Ink, something like that. This one just had a huge remodel. I got a better car. <laughs> the wheel right there is crazy. This one just had a big remodel. It's wide open. We got nothing really working out for us, but I come around this end over here. Uh, this the the Meyer scanners are not working, so you can't scan anything. They're remodeling this one, like I said. But I've got they've got a ton of these toys coming off of this pallet, and they are being all marked down. And they've got a clearance side over there, and I just scanned this one. A full clearance row, and then now this one, I come over here to this aisle, and it is $22.50. So it is 75% off. So who knows what these prices are? I have no idea. I've got a ton of this stuff. I have no idea what these prices are for the clearance aisle because I cannot scan any of it. So how do you know? You know what I mean? Like, how do I know? But guess what I did see? This. Star Wars Boba Fat. I mean, we got a Ryan's box over here for 10 bucks. Uh, get that out of there. Am the Amazon app is not working correctly. Oh, uh, Monopoly. Uh, Boba Fett. 
Star Wars. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's not working. See, that's what it keeps doing. I have to click on view offers. I can't check a price or see how much anything costs. I mean, this is uh, Star Wars Monopoly, and I'm going to take both of the ones they have, right? Because it's Monopoly and it's Star Wars. Then they're $5.25. I mean, that seems crazy. This probably won't come up either. Oh, they didn't cover that one. Well, good. <laughs> they didn't cover that one. All right. This music is loud. I don't know if you can hear it. Probably not. The air conditioner that's behind me is louder. Yeah, this is what's going on with the... We're connecting to the Wi-Fi, possibly. How is a man supposed to scan for clearance in this, in this disaster? Oh, yeah. It's not working. This seems crazy. I can't even see the... Can I see the rank? 95. Are we not going to get these because they're Minecraft? Well, let's see. Yeah, you know, and I can't check the market, so I figure 8, 10. Am I going to make 10? I mean, I don't know. 8 bucks. So we got 27.58. The next one's 34.34. Right? What is this? Mahogan Studios? It's Mattel? Yeah. I don't really know if these sets are if these sets are good. That just the glue snap came undone. It's not opened. I mean, should I get these? Should you guys get these? It's got to be a ten dollar profit. They're seventy five percent off, right? Let's just get them. And let's just get them. Okay. We'll worry about the fallout later, I guess. my issue is is I don't know how much anything is how much anything costs five dollars and twenty five cents they cover all the bars up of course they did are they all the same of course they're not this one's Peppa's supermarket this one's Peppa's aquarium I guess we can check it this is fairly frustrating when the things that you're trying to scan don't work. Let's see, Peppa's Aquarium, Peppa's Aquarium, uh, Peppa's Aquarium. Let's get the best rank. Peppa Pig, Peppa Pig, Peppa Pig. Let's check this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> and you, you can't get out of the habit. You can't get out of the habit of checking it. It's $5.25. I don't know if these are going to come up another 25% off because that's what it said. Um, this seems crazy. Oh, I just found a ninja. Najago. Najago for 15. That is going to be a winner. On the grind. Getting these Lego. Getting these Lego on the grind. See, I told you. I knew it. $47.99. Can you believe it? $47.99. Take it. I'm about to check. I'll start breaking up these boxes myself. Sink and sand. Game. Like I said, we're at Meyer. I uh, found a this weird clearance area, and uh, Amazon app's not working correctly. We've got fairly cheap toys here. It's just hard to do what you need to do because the Amazon app is not working, and I can't scan anything with the with the. Uh, uh, price scanners here at Meyer because they are remodeling and they are all out. Dino Rescue, let's see. 
Chase, rise, and rescue. Chase, rise, and rescue. That looks to be the right one. Maybe. Oh, yeah. And, and the app's not working. That's right. Only about the 40th time I've said it because I just keep clicking on it. There's got to be a buck or two to be made. I mean, $10. Let's say $10. Let's see. $22. Uh, minus the six seventy-five, minus the ten bucks in fees. I mean, it's got to be a six-dollar profit, right? You would assume, <laughs> because I can't check it. You would assume it. I mean, it's six dollars and seventy-five cents. I don't think I've ever seen these this cheap. I don't think I've ever seen these this cheap. I mean, we're gonna scan this one also and see. I just can't believe this Avatar one is 15 bucks. Uh, let's check it. Yeah, $47. The 75572. 15 bucks. Going for 47. I'd show you the price, but I can't because the Amazon app isn't working. Boom. I'm taking that. But I can't. I mean, I'm assuming at this price we're good to go on that one. Not that one by generic. Uh, let's see. Rise and Rescue. Oh, I keep forgetting. Rise and Rescue. Yeah, I mean, they've got to be yeah, 76,000 in toys. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. 76,000 in toys, right? 24.99. We're going to get them for $6.75. That is a Ryan Resells winner. Grind. I don't know. These boxes, I saw these boxes before. The purple one, I think said it was going for a hundred and some dollars. It was 15 bucks. This is not the purple one. This is not that one, not the same one. I just don't know how much people are actually still, kids are still watching this. I mean, they're like grown up and they've got their own kids, I think. This one's 71 bucks. Oh my goodness. Forgot again. $71. I mean, do you get it? I mean, do you get them? Ten dollars? I mean, do people are some people still getting these things? Ten bucks? I don't know. I just can't. <laughs> I just can't do it. I just can't. I just can't do it, man. Uh, I just really can't. I mean, this. Uh, I don't know. Can't seem to do it. We got sneak back in here. How much is this one? Four dollars twenty-five cents. That's how much those normally are. They've been on sale before, but this badass whatever thing. Let's see, there's a smidge of a smidge of UPC there. Let's see if we can get that. I guarantee I can. Yeah, that. Uh, I can't get it. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture. This is $13.50. This seems like a big ass, you know, crazy set. Something. Take it already. For real. I'm going to spin this thing around. See if I can take it. There we go. 2D on the back. Forty-six ninety-nine. Forty-six ninety-nine, huh? Well, fifty-four thousand. Is it thirteen bucks? Forty-six ninety-nine. Yeah, thirteen fifty. We're gonna take this one too. Uh, 
I see some Fisher Price. Look at these. I mean, these are pretty heavy. These are like actually, actually kind of wild. So let me two phones in my hand here. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. I want to get these. I've sold these before. Sold these before, but uh, I just don't know. I don't know if 22.50 is good enough. Is this a table? It is a table. And that's the right one. That one right there is the right color. I'm about to clean up my air, son. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I can't check it. But I mean, for $10.75, we're going we're gonna to take it, right? I'm gonna take it for sure. I gotta get this organized here. What do they got? Four of them? Got four of them in there. I'm taking them all. This is just, just now. Oh, they don't fit. Come on now. There we go. We're making them fit. Fitting on the bottom. Got like a chair and shit in the way over here. I don't know if this guy's sitting over here doing clearance on his ass. Might be. Might be. Uh, let's see if we can fit another one over here. Yeah, these are all the same. They're only ten dollars. Ten dollars and twenty-five cents. Can't beat that. Beat that. Oh, can I not fit? Oh, oh, saved it with my foot. Saved it with my foot. See that? Skills, son. Skills. Ah. Uh. need some stuff moved around. That's what we need. Uh, this is hard to do when you're filming. I'll tell you that much. Alright, I'm squishing that. Picking this up. Squeezing that in there like a glove. Putting this back. Put this monster truck here. Whatever the hell that thing is. Caught it. Caught it, G. See? See? You recognize the skills, all right? Let go. Recognize the skills. All right, there we go. Shit's not gonna fall off now. Hopefully. I'm gonna put this like this. It won't fall off like that. Look at this. We're cleaning up this aisle. There's nobody even over here. Nobody even knows about it. I don't know about this guy. It's probably not worth it. This kinetic sand's a good price, but this stuff's too heavy. Plus, I believe they give out IPs. I think they give out IPs. Uh, I wish uh, this guy had finished doing what he's doing over here. Somebody went on break. Because I want this to be 75 off too. You know? It's not. I kind of just randomly have stuff in here. I want to find some more gems. I don't see any. What? Except for this I just found. These Magic Mixie refills. Magic Mixie, one time, one day in time, was the go-to toy for kids. Two bottles. That looks to be the right one. And I can't look at it. That's right. Amazon's on a pie for, yep, 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 yep. Yep. You know how I feel about Barbie stuff. And, yeah. I think we're good. I think that's it. 
I think that's what we're getting. And, uh, I mean, I think that's enough, yeah? I mean, this is all 75% off, right? 75 off. I think that's good. I bet you they have more. I mean, these are empties. These are empties. All these Mattel toys, see? Is that a beach bucket set? I bet you that's over there. No. No, no. See? Somebody's got... Yeah, see? I mean, they just got the scanner and everything ready. They're probably grabbing another pallet. See these? Yeah. These babies are fresh. Fresh. All right. We're getting out of here. We've got what we came for. We're going to come check this place out. I don't know. Maybe to... Maybe next week or something. You know, we'll come here. They'll have all the stuff marked already. All right. Uh, and, uh, yeah, maybe we'll come here back here tonight. <laughs> all right, man. We'll, uh, uh, we're going to check the other side of this. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no, we got to check the other side of it. Okay. We're done. We're going to get out of here. We've got, uh, backdrop. Backdrop. Boom. Let's see if we can put this as a backdrop. Boom. Back out. That's perfect. See that? Perfect. What's up, guys? We just left Meyer. Uh, sir, can I see a receipt? No, thank you. Uh, we walked out of there with a bunch of stuff. You saw, uh, I mean, you saw the Fisher Price. I don't know if you can see it under this bicep. The company doesn't want to be liable. Uh, Post Malone, be quiet. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's back here. Um, and so can we see a receipt? No, thank you. Right? Uh, we, you saw the cart. If you watch this video, you'll see the cart. That's how we walk out of the stores. I don't really care to put stuff in bags most of the time. Um, it's not a, it's not a uh, huge deal for me. I just say no, thank you, and I just keep walking. Right? I mean, if there's somebody that wants to like stop me, it's gonna be difficult. Um, but also they're not going to, I mean, they're just not right. Three years of, you know, this, they're just not, they're just not doing it. Right. Um, I just say, no, thank you. Nicely, politely. I'm not trying to be rude or mean. I'm just not going to stop. Number one, it's, it, you can see it on my window. Um, it's sprinkling again. I mean, is there ever a time where it's not raining in these videos here recently? Um, and I'm just not going to wait and stop. I've got things to do. So. Uh, yeah, we, you saw what we got, half the truck's full, um, decent little haul today. It's about 1.30, right? So we started, I don't know, five, five hours ago. So, uh, I mean, four or five hours, is that what it is? Stopped at lunch, four or five hours. And this haul is decent. These Fisher Price are good. Um, we had some issues with the uh, Amazon uh app it is malfunctioning today not showing you the fees and and other things you can't really see you know quick math um, you've got to kind of do that all yourself i'm um, also meyer not having the scanners um so yeah so it's like a it's like a you know a resellers uh, whack-a-mole resellers pinball resellers this is like a resellers um normal life the, the daily struggle <laughs> it's so hard man it's so hard and rough bro i don't know all right we're out of here you done listening to my voice bye this thing's got a wicked pull to the right Alright guys, we are at another Walmart. Walmart number two. We're gonna go in here and see what we can find. Alright, boy! Walmart. Doing it again. Alright. Is 
I like the traveling wheelberries. Uh, for sure, shout out traveling wheelberries. Uh, I don't know what a little clearance section is in this place. Oh, that's right. This is the one. It's got the. It's over by electronics. I always forget. It's over by electronics. It's like the only store that's like this. And I constantly forget where the fuck it is. So, yeah. Uh, got somebody. All right. Just want to go to Toys Versa right here. Shit all on our way. We go into the clearance aisle or go into the toy aisle just to get an idea of what the clearance might be, what it look like. Uh huh. 9.97, right? Who's the scalper now? Walmart's a scalper. See that? See that? Charging you five dollars more. Five dollars more than we got it for. Actually, six dollars more. Six fifty more. Uh, roughly six forty-seven. <laughs> That's a quick math. You know, real quick math. The only one that's sitting there, that's odd. Uh, so, yeah, nothing in the aisles that I see. I think this is, uh, they finally started doing all their mods, too. I just see a ton of people here, like employees. So they are working diligently to get these items marked in the clearance aisle. Anything good, anything good, anything good. This game right here. Got that game for ten bucks. Who's a scalper? Huh? Walmart a scalper? Forty six dollars more for an item? Forty six dollars more? Why? What purpose? Yeah. John Cena. <laughs> I don't even like wrestling. It's just so silly. My kids started yelling it. John Cena all the time and then attacking people so I thought it was funny so I just talk about John Cena for no real reason like I said I don't watch wrestling uh, there we go Up. So even if it was, which it's not, we wouldn't get it anyway. Just scan these things because they're kind of just sitting here all jacked up. You know, kind of just tossed in here all crazily. Like this, you know what I mean? Could be go bags or whatever, it's just nobody's paying any attention to it. This music's pretty loud. in these aisles. At least this one. This music is jacked up loud. So we're just going to talk loud. Uh, prices are... Yeah. Lots of different... Uh, you know, 10 bucks I guess. 
I don't see anybody paying $33.97 for that. For this. But it's Polly Pocket, so what do you expect? These we were getting for six bucks, eight bucks. Polly's. Look at the UPC here. There you go. You love it. UPCs. Right. Um, same. Um, that UPC for this Polly Pocket. Boom. Alright. Nothing to really see. Is really worth it. Some of this stuff. These giant. Uh, they say Rapunzel, I guess. Tangled. Uh, the Disney movie Tangled. Some of these things are huge. It's crazy. Life size. Uh, some of that same stuff is down there on sale. 27. Do the UPC for this one as well, because I know how much you guys like UPCs. Well, for that item. $64. And we got these for like 15 bucks. $64. A little bit of ink. Some routers. Anything worth anything? Not really. Not really. We've got some more clearance down here. We got a lot of computers going on sale, a lot of laptops. Same ink for five bucks, four bucks, six bucks. Uh, I wonder if this one has the corner over here or not. No, this is not the one with the corner. Not the one with the corner. We are empty cart. Empty cart, but that's gonna change, right? That's gonna change. Because we're going to the clearance section, which is just down here. We've got some center clearance. Boom. Center clearance. Going to be worth anything? Worth anything? No, no, no. No, nothing I see. She's covering my next week of work. Um, these Rawlings ones, I betcha. Oh, don't come up. So people know it's over these. Check the blue and check the pink because quite possibly, nah, $32.92. We're getting these for eight and nine dollars, even the blue sometimes. So we're going to put this one back because it's full price, $32.92. That is not what we want. Eight, nine bucks, we're a buyer. Eight or nine bucks and we're a buyer. All right, we're going to keep looking, see if we see anything. Uh, we're in toys. 
bikes. I'm gonna look for these same little live pets also. I believe that it, it, they're specific too. So like this specific one. Let me check this one and see if it might be on sale. Not on sale. Even at full price, sometimes these can, you know, depending on how rare and how hard to find they are. This one is not. I, I know that one is not. But some of these are, right? So, not this. Not these fingerlings. These, they've got turtles. There's all kinds of weird, you know, kid stuff. It depends on how rare they are, how in demand they are. Seems silly. But when you've got a bunch of kids, Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. Let's put that back. Same thing with purse pets. Told you, purse pets. Purse pet premium. I'm trying to show you on one of these videos. They had, uh, yeah, the Goonies, man. The Goonies. It says Goonies never say die board game. And I've only seen it at that one store. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Should have bought them. Every single, I mean, can you imagine how many other Walmarts I've gone into? You know, since I saw that board game? A shit ton. <laughs> I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot. That's the only place I've seen it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have got it. Say. So, yeah. Here we go. We push around this thing all day. I'll take the Walmart cart. Push that around. Put our items in it. Pop some wheelies. Yeah. No more. No more fucking around. Serious. Serious clearance business here. Fucking serious clearance business. <laughs> a miniature Walmart cart. Just get that, put it in my own cart. Walk it around. Tug it behind me with a string. Nonsense. Just absolute nonsense. Yeah, there's nothing in these aisles. So as you walk down, you'll see no tags, no yellow, no nothing, no clearance of any kind, no rollbacks, no nothing. I think they're going to just start doing straight clearance, you know? Like that in the aisles. Oh, here's the first rollback I've seen. That was the first rollback I saw. No one, one sticker. this one again at this corner of the so at the corner of uh, the toy aisle on the store ah here we got to what I tell you haunting my motherfucking dreams this Barbie this light right here this little people Barbie every time 97 is not clearance price. This is where like a bunch of the go backs and dumb stuff go and people are too lazy to you can see the ends here. Too lazy to uh, put them back. Alright guys we have been to two Walmarts thus far and we got a bunch of stuff. Well not a bunch of stuff. We got a decent amount. Uh, we're going to get some food like I said before. We got to uh, TJ Maxx, and also a Gabe's in the area, and we'll probably go to those. All right, bye. What's up, guys? We are driving currently, and we are going to Gabe's. We're going to go into Gabe's and see if we can find some stuff. 
We got some stuff. Shit's falling all over the back. Shit's falling in the back over here. Uh, Fisher Price. We went to two, one, two Walmarts today. A Meyer, and now we're going to Gabe's. We had TJ Maxx. What do you think TJ Maxx is? Junk. Uh, mostly. Um, full prices for the same reasons. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're going to Gabe's. All right, we're driving. Pulling into the parking lot. It's gonna get bumpy. Boom. Yeah. See that? Yeah. That's <laughs> that's what you gotta deal with. You see this shit? Look at this. It's kind of nonsense. All right, we're gonna end the Gabe's here. Talk to you later. Bye. Gabe's. We're going to the Gabe's. Can't remember if this one has a toy section or not. It's awfully windy. Hopefully you can hear me. But uh, yeah, going in there. Grab a cart, maybe, maybe. Mini cart. Grab a mini cart. Let's do it. All right, man. Gabe's is a bust. Nothing in Gabe's. All right. We're going to go to Big Up My Kids. All right. We're out. This thing's got a wicked pull to the right. What's up guys? We are at Staples. I thought that maybe you would want to go get boxes with me. You want to go get boxes with me? That sounds fun, right? Buying boxes to ship things into Amazon, Walmart, and eBay. So we're going into Staples. We're going to grab some boxes. We get pretty good deals at Staples. We drop a lot of stuff off. We get a lot of rewards, so it, it makes it worth it. Uh, their sizes are comparable. Their boxes are heavy duty. Um, and they're not crazy expensive. And then we're going to go probably to Home Depot because we need some specialty boxes. They've got some 27-inch boxes um, that we need to ship out some uh, larger, you know, items. Um, and some people are going to say, well, you can't ship 27 inches to uh, Amazon. That's because we're not shipping it to Amazon. We're shipping it to Walmart. But thanks. Also, an update. They allow, Walmart allows you to do, I think I said like 70 pounds or something like 75 pounds in the last video. 150 pounds, 150 pound boxes, 150 inches. I mean, it's <laughs> uh, it's uh, crazy. So 150 pounds. They're making these people in FedEx uh, really work for that money. So yeah, uh, we're gonna go in here and get some boxes, and we'll see if we can film in the store. I'll talk to them and see if we can film in the store a little bit to get these boxes. All right, bye. We are at Staples, guys. We are gonna go in here and get some boxes at Staples. Staples boxes. Shout out to Dan. Dan, shout out. So we're at Staples here, and we're going to get some boxes. Now, I get boxes at Staples because I get, uh, I drop off a lot of packages here. And so then you get $10 off uh, a 30 that you spend. So when you spend $30, you get $10 off, which is a great deal. Um, the boxes that I get are the 20 by 20 by 24. Uh, and if you buy five or more, you get uh, you get them for three dollars and four d cents three dollars and forty cents four or five or more um and usually i get i don't know 12, 15 20 at a time depends um they've got the the uh bunk uh you know strapped up ones up there that you can just get and uh so i get those and and then i also since i purchase clearance items from here I get rewards as well and so when I get these rewards like this time 
uh, I use them. So they have a clearance section right there. So I use them to to actually minimize how much I actually pay for boxes, for clearance items, things like that. So what I will do is I will use the $20 reward that I have and the $15 reward that I have. And you're going to uh, be very, very surprised. I probably paid, oh, I don't know. I think I paid $15 total, but I also got a couple boxes, a uh, whole case of pens. What's up guys, we are going to get these purple, and I think they've got one in black. We've got a box of these uh, here, plus what's ever in this bin for 46 cents. And here is the purple, uh, 46 cents. We're going to make about three bucks. Sounds great. All right, boop. Uh, they were on clearance, and... Um, for 46 cents So I'll show you those. That's why there's none here uh, These big 12 packs for 46 cents. So I got a case of those I think 41 of those in the purple and uh, one black uh, And I believe I paid for that plus 10 boxes. I paid $15. That's after tax, right? So that is how we do it That is how we get boxes at staples utilize our rewards right and uh you know be smart about it and what's a what's a box uh, purchase without looking at some of the not gonna be enough oh, See that price? That's uh, different, huh? I think I've sold these before. They just don't go. They just don't sell. Well, this seems all right. No. I'm gonna go ahead and look at Keeper real quick, and if we can copy this, Asin. Let's see if they sell a little bit. You know what I mean? So we're definitely not doing that one. These happy planners, except this one is dated. They really go for some big money. Like 70 bucks, 60, 70 bucks, honestly. Quite honestly. Paper mains, nah. So if these were not dated, they would be definitely sold. Universal remotes, GE. Uh, some universal remotes can go for some decent money. It just depends. One is not one of those. Under five dollars is what we'd have to get it for. So shout out to Dan at Staples. Uh, he's the manager here. Uh, always doing a great job. Always doing a great job, and uh, getting us those deals on boxes, letting us know about our ability to get rewards what we can get rewards for, how we can, uh, you know, better make uh, profit. So shout out to Dan at Staples uh, for hooking us up and making sure that we know what our rewards abilities are and knowing how, how uh, the apps work and all those good things that he does such a great job at and saying, hey, don't forget this and don't forget that. And that's a great thing. And we 
really like doing that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to leave Staples now. And uh, shot of the whip. All right, boy. I don't know if you can get better deals where you go to get boxes, but for a, less than a dollar a box, I doubt you can, right? So the boxes are back here, heavy duties. Uh, I doubt that you can get better deals than $10 a box. Or, I mean, I, I doubt that you can get better deals than a dollar a box. A dollar a box. Got the receipt right here to prove it, right? Right here to prove it. Less than a dollar a box. And uh, practically got, you know, these, <laughs> this $4.55 is the profit that I'm going to make off of one of these big pens. So that's profit. Uh, let's just say two, okay? $4.55. So the rest of it is free and straight profit. So there's no buyback cost. There's no paying back. Anyway, this is long-winded as usual. At Staples, get your boxes from Staples. Start dropping off packages. You'll get $10 off every $30 that you spend. Um, when you drop off your packages, they'll give you a coupon. We're going to go to, that's enough of that. We are going to go to Depot because I need specialty boxes. I need 27-inch boxes. Okay? All right. We'll talk to you later. Boy. All right, guys. We're going into Depot to get these boxes. All right. Boy. See in there, heavy duty boxes are that much. I get the extra large usually. Those are 348, so eight cents more for one inch. <laughs> uh, here's what we're looking for these. These 27 by 15 by 16. We need, I believe, three of these. 27 by 15 by 16. 27 by 15 by 16. These are the extras. We don't need the heavy duties. Duty, duty. So I think those are the ones we're going to get. Three of them. I'm going to need two hands for these guys. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys, so that was our adventure getting boxes. I'm really not sure how excited everyone will be about me just getting boxes. It seems kind of silly. Um, it's very bright. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. That's what we did. We went to Staples to get boxes, and we got boxes for less than a dollar. So that's what we did at Staples, and then we went to Home Depot, and we got boxes, three boxes, for $2.48 for the, the odd-shaped 27 by 15 by 16 boxes. Um, we've got a couple specialty items that we need to uh, send in that are, you know, weirdly shaped uh, long, I guess, to Walmart. Uh, we're actually going to run to Walmart because I also need tape. And I probably could have gotten tape at Staples. Um, but there's a specific brand of tape that I like to use. And I'll never tell you what it is. What's up, guys? We are going into Walmart to get some tape. Sounds like fun, huh? And we'll see what we can get. We're going to obviously swing by the clearance and electronics and baby possibly so we'll see all right bye
I'm going to swing by clearance here. See what we can find. International Tape Man of Mystery on this one. We'll catch you later. We'll see you in the editing and that's not right. We'll catch you in the editing. Bye. This thing's got a wicked pull to the right.